Roughly a year ago, we all learned that special counsel Robert Mueller had given a partial immunity deal to international political operative George Nader. This was a big deal, both because it was the only known immunity deal that Mueller had handed out to anyone, and because Nader appeared to be in prime position to steer Mueller toward bigger Trump Russia fish. Now that deal is reportedly toast. It's long been reported that George Nader helped set up, and attended, the infamous transition period Seychelles meeting between Eric Prince and Kremlin higher up Kirill Dmitriev. That meeting was allegedly an attempt at establishing a back channel between the Donald Trump regime and the Vladimir Putin regime. Nader's cooperation was extensive enough that he even testified before a Trump Russia grand jury last year. It seemed like Nader was going to be Mueller's guy all the way. But now George Nader is reportedly no longer cooperating with Robert Mueller, according to Laura Rosen of Middle Eastern news publication El Monitor. No one involved is willing to comment on why this has happened, or even confirm or deny that it's happened. But it's intriguing, because it points to just how much things have changed in the investigation over the past year. In fact it ties into something new we just learned yesterday. Thanks to a court filing by Michael Flynn's former business partner Bijan Ian yesterday, we learned that during the transition period, Flynn also met with Kirill Dmitriev. This means Mueller got the lowdown on Dmitriev when Flynn cut his deal in November of 2017, before he gave immunity to Nader with regard to the Prince meeting with Dmitriev. There's a lot we don't know here, but if Nader's original cooperation deal was a big story, then the demise of that deal is an even bigger story.